The three adjectives that I would use to describe Jim Ellison are thoughtful, absolutely engaging. Well, he's definitely a visionary, sincere, kind to others, and caring. Jim and I have been friends for uh, about 35 years. I knew he had the abilities and the commitment that if we could attract him to the white board, he would be a tremendous member and a tremendous leader of our board. And, and obviously, uh, what he has been able to accomplish as our chairman uh, has proven that to be the case. I think the way I got to know Jim the best was when he chaired our search committee for a new uh, YCEO. During that time, when, when you're with someone for uh, just about a year and you're meeting almost every month and sometimes twice a month, uh, your group began to get really, really solid. And so that search committee, to me, now they're, they're among my good friends. And I, I have to tell you, in all of my nonprofit experience, I don't think I have ever had a more pleasurable, enjoyable, and productive uh, experience than serving under Jim's leadership on that committee. What Jim wanted us to do is to think through the future of the Y, what we should look like, what, how we should meet the needs of the community, what those needs were going to be. And it was a marvelous process to undergo. He really feels for young people that maybe aren't graduating from high school and for kids who aren't learning to read at a proficient level, he can connect the passion and the vision and the mission of the Y in a way that really allows others to step forward and contribute. The most important thing that I think that Jim has brought to the Y as a leader um, has been um, the ability to inspire. One cannot see the dedication that he has and not feel a responsibility to um, give to this great organization. He has led this Y through two very important periods, the severe economic problem and then the change of leadership, where high quality leadership was critical, and he's provided that to us. When it was determined that Weingart needed, uh, for want of a better phrase, a facelift, he was picked as my co-chair. There was really no doubt that that campaign was going to be successful. He just brought a passion uh, to that job that was uh, just remarkable. He has been very supportive of the South LA branch for many, many years. He was part of the capital campaign when that facility was remodeled, and he's constantly seeking opportunities to support that operation. Every time he comes to the facilities, we see him as a part of the family. And Jim, you have led with distinction and really accomplished some major, major things overall. You've been on the board for 21 years. Uh, you've loved the Y uh, most of your adult life, uh, and you so understand what we're trying to accomplish. And then, of course, you and Naomi made the lead gift in our comprehensive campaign. Huge gift that gave this Y tremendous confidence to move forward. And Naomi, thank you for your support. You have tremendous passion and commitment for the purposes and the goals of the Y, and it was so evident. And I thank you for all that you've done during this past four years. And last year, Jim, we bestowed on you our YMCA's highest honor, the Waller Taylor Award, because of the dedication and the time that you took to lead this Y fairly and ethically. I just love the guy. I mean, I hope he'll stay involved uh, on this board and with this organization for a long, long time. He should never step down. What more can I say? I would just like to thank Jim for taking the responsibility of being our chairman and to have performed in such a high quality way during this very stressful period. And I join Jim now in being very confident that our Y is on a very good footing, very strong foundations to continue our growth in this community. Jim, thanks so much for what you've contributed to our Y.